Well, a very good afternoon to you on this second day of our extension to the lockdown in South Africa. My name is Mark Long. I'm rector of the parish of St Andrews in Newlands, Cape Town. This Easter week, we have been uh, journeying through a number of different accounts of encounter in the Gospels after the resurrection. And today, the Eucharist readings have the account from Mark. It's uh, the extended uh, ending, which most scholars agree uh, was an addition at a later point. I think that uh, ending with the gospel reading that suggested that uh, fear overtook everyone and that the gospel news wasn't proclaimed in any form uh, left, left people feeling uncomfortable. And so uh, there's a short ending, there's a longer ending. And the longer ending is in essence just a, a summary of much of what we find in the other gospels. What intrigued me today, though, was two things. One, that um, Jesus meets with the eleven, and uh, whereas in John he meets and he says, peace be with you, and it's a whole nice, warm, kind of fuzzy experience. Uh, it says in Mark that Jesus met with the eleven and upbraided them, upbraided them on their lack of faith, uh, upbraided them on their stubbornness, um, and particularly in relation to not believing the accounts of his resurrection from those that had had given testimony to it. And so I was just intrigued because it was almost a fresh take on the whole thing. Um, one in which one is, is challenged to, to really sit back and think about, well, what have I heard? What is my experience? Um, and, and why do I struggle to believe? It's perhaps a, a good question in the, at this point in lockdown and, and where we are in the, with the pandemic in, in the global context. There's so much information out there um, and one gets a little lost as to what one should believe or shouldn't believe. Uh, on my Facebook uh, page, uh, newsfeed, there's, there's a whole lot of people who, who really are hugely um, uh, affirming of, of the president and, and our government's uh, stance on, on this. Uh, others who, who question it. Um, others who, who quite uh, strongly feel that, that we're heading in, in the wrong direction with the, the whole lockdown. And, um, you know, after one's read through that, news articles and things, certainly I, I often feel quite overwhelmed and, and lost with it all. And at some point, somebody is likely to say to me, so why didn't you believe, um, whether it's for or against or somewhere in between? And I guess at that point, I will need to give account for, for where I find myself. But like me, you may be finding it quite difficult to find a, a place of, of peace, uh, a centeredness in the midst of everything that is out there. And um, probably just a real need for all of us at this time to, to just really trust in God's presence um, and to trust that the decisions that are made are made um, in the light of the best, best practice and, and best information at a particular time doesn't necessarily make them right in the long term and there will be consequences right or wrong that we will all live with um, both just in terms of the impact on our individual lives on our, the society we're part of the economies that that have, have kind of closed down around us and just the global environment going forward but having said that there is also in mark a summary of the great commission um, and a reminder that no matter how lost or confused or overwhelmed or stubborn or unbelieving we may be, that we are still sent out. And interestingly in Mark, we are sent out into the world uh, to, to give um, testimony to the resurrection, to what God is doing, to the good news, not just to human beings, but it says to the whole creation. And uh, with tomorrow being Earth Day, perhaps that's um, a wonderful way to end our Easter week. Uh, a reminder that our Earth is, is deeply important and is God's gift to us. Amen.